Hello everybody and welcome to the episode number 2 on how to replace the injectors o-rings on any engine with the size 1.9 or 2.0 TDI. To install the new injectors back in the engine what you have to do is to lubricate the o-rings and the injectors very good because you don't want to have a dry surface you'll have to lubricate them very good and after that you have to push them inside the engine so you'll have to put it as straight as possible inside the hole and after that you have to push it from the top with one hand and if you can't you can also wiggle it uh, around left and right just a little bit just to make sure that the o-rings will uh, fit inside the hole very good and it will not uh, stretch the o-rings and you'll have to do the same thing for each of the injectors then you'll have to mount the metal part which is securing the injector mounted to the engine to the cylinder head and after that you'll have to put the bolts and you'll have to tighten the bolts to 12 newton meters and after that you'll have to tighten them to 217 degrees so you'll have to tighten to 12 newton meters and 217 degrees and you'll have to do it like this for each of the injectors and for each of the bolts from the injector so you'll have four bolts and four injectors you'll have to tighten every single bolt from the injector to this spec Okay everybody, so after you're done with pressing the injectors back inside the cylinder head, as you can see, you'll have to make it as straight as possible with the engine. And as you can see, there is a perfect line between the engine and the injector, between the cylinder head and the injector. And as you can see, it's perfectly straight. The distance is exactly the same on each side. You'll, normally you'll have to use a special tool to measure the distance, but because I do it uh, very often and because I did it a lot of ways and uh, with a lot of engines, I know for sure that this is the perfect way and I don't have to use the special tool. And this is how it's looking. This is how you'll have to put it and you'll have to put right now the mounting clips for each injector. You have to wiggle the injector around if the mounting clip it's not uh, able to fit in like this. You'll have to wiggle it around. You'll have to put it in the position. And after that, you'll have to also make sure that the injector is very straight and it's uh, done for you to put the screw and for you to tighten the screw as it should be tight.
So I tight every screw for the injector to 12 Nm and now I will have to tight it to 217 degrees. And uh, to do so I have this special tool. There is a lot of special tools like this and uh, you will have also different ones on the internet. You have to find them and you have to use it to tight the screw correctly and to tight it perfectly for this car. So this is how to tight it. This is the spec which you will have to follow and from here you have to do it for each injector. And after that you will also have to tight the screws from the camshaft perfectly and to a different size. Right now, as you also, I'm done with tightening the screw to the spec. I tightened it to 270 degrees, and as you all can see, the needle it's at the 270 degrees. Before of that, it was at zero, and this is meaning that the screw is fully tightened. The screw is tightened as it should be tightened. And now I'll have to do the exact same thing for the rest of the injectors and for the rest of the screws from the injectors. Okay everybody, so after you're done with tightening the injectors, you'll have to put back the top part from the camshaft, you have to put back the bolts and you'll have to tighten the bolts to 20 Nm and 19 degrees. And then the order for the screws, it's um, the screw number 1, then the screw number 3, then the screw number 2 and the screw number 4. That's So it's uh, 1, 3, 2, 4. This is the order for the tightening of the screws.
right here my camera stopped working and i forgot to show you guys how to tighten the bolt number three but i already tightened it off camera and now as you can see i'm tightening the bolt number four to 19 degrees and from here we are done with tightening the bolts on the camshaft and now we will have to go ahead and adjust the injectors and to adjust the injectors i recommend to first to replace the bolts from the top of the injectors in my case i'm going to put a new bolts and after that i will have to adjust the injectors and to adjust them what we have to do is to turn the engine you have to turn the engine clockwise and when you see uh, which cylinder it's uh, moving for example in my case right now it's moving cylinder number three but after that i will have to go with the cylinder number four so for example i'm going to put right here this allen key and as you can see the allen key is uh, moving down and when it stop moving you'll have to turn the allen key you'll have to turn it until you feel resistance and when you feel that the allen key is not working anymore when you feel that it's not tightening anymore you'll have to uh, you'll have to undo it 180 degrees so as you can see right here now it stopped and now i'll have to put it 180 degrees back so we'll have to turn it one time back and just follow what i'm doing for example this is the allen key this is the tool to show the degrees and as you can see 180 degrees it's exactly behind the normal size and where is right now and as you can see right here it's the 180 degrees and right now i will go ahead and tie the bolt with one hand i'm going to hold the bolt from not spinning and with the other hand i'm going to tighten the nut i don't really have the spec for the nut but you'll have to tighten it until you feel that is not uh, going anymore and from here you have to follow this method to the next injector and right here my camera lost focus and i'm sorry guys but i have nothing to do uh, right now so my camera lost focus but right now as you can see i'm working with the injector number four and so on i'm turning the engine and as you can see now the injector number four is fully pressed and when i see that the allen key is not going down anymore this is meaning that it reached the max point and i will have to go ahead and tighten the bolt and when I see the bolt it's not moving anymore, when I see that the bolt is fully tightened, I will have to turn it back 180 degrees. And after that I'll have to tighten the bolt. And you have to follow the exact same thing for each of the bolts from each of the injectors. Right here, when I turn the engine, the injector number two is working. And as you can see, when I see that the injector is not pressing down anymore, when I see that the injector has reached the max point, I will go ahead and I will tighten the nut, I will tighten the bolt. And when I see that the bolt is not going to tighten anymore, I will have to turn it back 180 degrees. And as you can see, right here, I turn it back. This is the position. And right now, I will go ahead and tighten the nut. Right now, the last injector which I have to adjust is the injector number one, and I'll have to follow the exact same things. I'll have to turn the engine to the right side, and when I see that the Allen key is not going down anymore, I'll have to stop and I'll have to take the bolt and the nut and secure the injector in this way. So now that I'm done with adjusting the injectors, I will go ahead and I will have to use some silicone, some sealant, and I will have to put some sealant right here next to the timing belt and in the other part next to the fuel pump. Because these cars and the, most of the cars, most of the engines have a problem right here in this area and they start leaking oil. So I don't want this. I will want to use some silicone. And as you can see, I already installed a little bit of the silicone. Uh, right here next to the timing belt and right there next to the fuel pump and right now i placed already the new gasket on the cover from the top of the engine and right now i'm going to put the cover back on the engine i'm going to tighten everything back together you'll have to tighten everything to 10 newton meters and right now as you can see i'm turning the engine i'm turning the timing belt just to uh, avoid me hitting the metal metal pins which i told you at the beginning of this video so i'm turning the engine and when i see that the metal pins will not be in my way I'm 
I will go ahead, I will put the cover back on the engine and I will tie the bolts to 10 Nm. Okay. Now I'm done with installing everything back on the car, everything is perfectly, everything is mounted as it should be mounted and it's tightened to spec and from here I will go ahead, I will put the ignition a few times and I will start the car. Normally the car won't start uh, uh, very easy, you have to turn the engine a few times, you have to uh, press it a little bit to start and eventually it will start up. Ok everybody, so as you can see and as you can hear, the engine is working very good, it's not shaking, it's uh, sounding very good and from here, this is what you have to do. I'm not going to let it run a uh, long time because I want to let the seal from under the camshaft cover uh, harder a little bit and only after that I will go ahead and I will let it work uh, even more time than it's working right here. And as you can see in the dashboard, I have no errors, everything is working, the idle is very good, so I have no problems in the future. Just look how the car is accelerating, I'm not going to accelerate it very good because the engine is cold and the oil is still cold, but in the end this is the final product, this is how we have to do this job, and now I will go ahead, I will stop the car and I will start it a few times just to see if the car is starting very good, just to see if the car has any problems with the starting or not. And as you can see, the car is starting up very good, 
So everything is fine, everything is perfectly, and everything is working as it should work. Thank you all for watching. This is how to replace the O-rings on any engine with the Dasai 1.9 or 2.0 TDI. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video and found it informative, please leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.